Hello, and welcome back once again to Finnegan's Wake, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Finnegan's Wake to you. One page at a time, one day at a time, put it up on the YouTube.com for you to to YouTube. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the start of section two in the book, page 219. Here we go. Here we go! Every evening at lighting up a clock, sharp and until further notice, in Phoenix Playhouse, bar and conveniences always open, Didlum Club down the stairs, entrancings, gads, a scrab, the quality, one large shilling, newly billed for each wicked day performance, some dose, maziness, by arraignment, chill dreams hours, exasperated, expurcated, Jam pots, rinsed porters, taken in token, with nightly redistribution of parts and players by the puppetry producer and daily dubbing of ghosters, with the benediction of the holy Genesis Archimimus, and under the distinguished patronage of the their elderships, the oldens from the first four coroners of Findrius, Murius, Gorius, and Folius, Mesors, the Corbs, Clive Solis, Glorious Kettle, Pobiedo Lancy, and Pierre Destort, while the Caesar in chief looks on Senate, as played to the Adelphi by the brothers Bratislav, uh, High Cran, and Harristobulus, after Humpteen Dumpteen revivals, before all King Horsers with all the Queen's mum, and word loosed over seven seas, crowd blast in. This is all going to be one word, folks. Salalentuito Slavs and a Latin sound script in four tabloids. While Fern may called us until Fern makes cold, the mime of Mick, Nick, and the Maggies, adopted from the Bolly Mooney blood ridden murder by Blue Chin Black Delian, author Way's big story featuring Glug, Mr. Sheumus, McQuillid, hear the riddles between the robot in his dress circular and the gagster in the rogues gallery the bold bad bleak boy of the storybooks who when the tabs go all right that was page number 219 of finnegan's wake good night